These street food vendors behind us have been there for 12 years, serving some of the most delicious cheap street food to thousands of New Yorkers every single day. But if the building upstairs has its way, they'll soon be gone. We're in the plaza at 140 Broadway in downtown Manhattan. We're about to get lunch with Mustafa, who's run a streetcar here for the last 12 years. When the Akin City opened the spot, I was the first one came to start with a small wagon. From then to now, we're still vending here. We are taking care of family and the community service, which is we are serving good food and reasonable price. What percentage of your customers do you think you don't you don't even have to take an order? They just you, they come to you every day. Fifty percent. Fifty percent. Yes. Of your definitely just come every day. Every day. That's pretty amazing. Yes. <laughs> Chicken and rice. <laughs> he knows. He knows the order. But Mustafa may soon be forced to leave. The building here at 140 Broadway is trying to redesign this plaza, and their redesign proposal comes with a line of benchers and planters along Broadway that would ultimately displace all the food carts that are here and put these people out of business. Seven cars. Each car sells at least, you know, serve uh, 150, 200 people every day. What would happen to your cart if all of a sudden they changed the plaza and you guys weren't allowed to be here? Where would you go? I don't know. If this proposal does go through, couldn't they just easily find a new place to go? It's very, very tough to establish a business. I mean, these vendors have been here for years. They have regular customers that come every day. So it would be difficult for them to start from zero to build their business back up again. Have you ever spoken to the management of this building before? Have they ever come down and ordered your food? No, no, no. Or talked to you? To talk. Never. They're planning something to throw us from here. The obstacles, they don't like these obstacles. I cannot blame them because billion dollars business. They put a billion dollars and you put a little wagon. Street Vendor Project is defending the right of Mustafa and the other street vendors at 140 Broadway to continue to operate their businesses. We're trying to push back and say that the vendors have a right to be here. They've been here for many years and they're serving the community and, and the plaza is better served by having vendors than just a bunch of, of benches and planters. One thing you can be sure of, as long as Mustafa can keep his business here, he will continue to provide the area with great food and an even greater smile. Do you always have that smile? I you do. have a great smile. <laughs> a lot of my customers call me smiley. Smiley. <laughs> I'm Mustafa. This is my business. Rally on! If you like the music in this video, we found it using Soundstripe, a library of royalty-free music. They literally save us hours on every video because they make it so easy to find the perfect music for any mood and you don't have to deal with any of that copyright stuff. So if you're a creator, go check them out.